friends in the last episodes on saints from india inspirations to witness christ we heard about one of the newest indian saint saint mariam teresia in this episode we shall hear about one of the first indian saint and also one of the first martyrs of japan saint gonzalo garcia <laughs> Saint Gonzalo Garcia was born in a former Portuguese colony, Basin, presently known as Vasai, a city close to Mumbai in 1556. His father was a Portuguese soldier while his mother was an Indian. He was educated in a Jesuit school attached to the Church of the Holy Name of Jesus within the Vasai fort. He not only learned the four Rs that is reading, writing, arithmetic and religion, but he also perfected himself in music and excelled in singing and dancing. In 1572 he accompanied the Jesuit missionaries to Japan. Interestingly, they took the same route that Saint Francis Xavier had taken exactly 20 years earlier to China. Like Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Gonzalo Garcia was never to return to India. He served as a catechist for over 8 years at that place. He repeatedly requested admissions into the Society of Jesus, but the Jesuit order for some unknown reason was never accepted. Let's listen to a little bit more about this from our catechism children. Saint Gonzalo Garcia went to Japan at a young age of 15 along with the Jesuits. Even at a young age, he wanted to witness Christ to proclaim the word of God to everyone. Saint Gonzalo Garcia learned to speak Japanese while traveling to Japan on the ship itself. The children were attracted to him because he loved to be around them. As he was not allowed to join the Jesuits, Saint Gonzalo Garcia left Japan to go to the Portuguese colony of Macau. There he forgot all about his religious vocations and for 4 years worked with the Portuguese merchants. When he had gone on a business trip to Manila, Philippines, he came in a contact with the Franciscans, which revived his old desire to be a missionary. In 1586, he joined the Franciscans order as a lay brother. As a Franciscan brother with all immunities and Gonzalo Garcia worked in the kitchen in the dining room and did the marketing for the community. In Manila, many shopkeepers, especially those who were from Japan, became his friends as he spoke Japanese to them, and also because of his friendly nature. Working with the Portuguese merchants in Macau for four years, he learned to do business. It, this proved of immense value in Japan, where he built churches, convents, hospitals for the lepers with this business mindset. Wherever Saint Gonzalo Garcia went. people were attracted to him his friendly nature and his smile pulled people towards him he inspires me to spread joy everywhere saint paul miki the companion of saint gonzalo garcia who was crucified along with him said this word from the cross my religion teaches me to forgive my enemies and those who persecute me and to forgive willingly the king and those who are crucifying me this inspires me to forgive my enemies after they were arrested the 26 missionaries were made to walk for 600 miles from kota to nagasaki where they were to be crucified they were very tired when they reached nagasaki Among the 26 martyrs who were crucified on the cross there were not only priests brothers and lay people but there were also three altar servers around the age of 13 who served the priest during the mass after they were martyred their dead bodies were neglected by the local authorities thinking that they will be eaten by the vultures but for nearly 40 days they remained intact Saint Gonzalo Garcia and his companions were beatified by Pope Urban VIII in 1627. It was Pope Pius IX who proclaimed them as saints in the year 1862, giving India its first saint. Saint Gonzalo Garcia is the patron saint of 
the Diocese of Versailles. His feast day is celebrated on 6 February along with his missionary companions. Saint Gonzalo Garcia and 25 of his companions suffered the most torturous death. In 1596, when the Japanese shogun Hideyoshi ordered the missionaries to be arrested, their left ear was sliced and with blood flowing through their cheeks, they were dragged to different towns to infuse terror into the hearts of others. They were later brought to a hill in Nagasaki and with iron collars around their necks, they were fastened to crosses with chains and cords. At a given signal, the executioners would thrust two spears into the hearts of each one, making a shape of a cross while they faithfully cried, Jesus, Mary. It was February 5th, 1597. The hill became renowned as the Holy Hill of Nagasaki. Saint Gonzalo Garcia used all his God-given talents to bring people close to God. Am I using my God-given talents to the fullest to be a witness of Christ? That's all for now, but stay tuned to our YouTube channel Saint Alex Church Kalangut on the next video about the saint whom we must have definitely heard about, Saint Alfonsa from Kerala.